Hello and welcome back to BitBar, where we're doing our quickie restoration series on our Capcom Big Blue here. Soon to be a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And today we're actually going to tackle the something that applies to almost all arcade games, which is these little metal brackets, uh, which are kind of everywhere. So uh, on this cabinet, there's actually not that many, but we still want to tackle them before uh, for this restoration. So we've got these guys, these little corner protectors down here, and then the uh, bracket that holds the marquee on up top. So all I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and pull these guys off. And I think this one I don't even have screwed down. So that one's ready to go. And let's go ahead and, and pull these guys off. Luckily, they're just screwed in here. So, piece of cake there. And actually, we have one other piece that I want to address here. So we have this lock bar uh, hole, which normally my approach would be, well, that's that's a problem, so we need to, to fix that. So go ahead and um, you know fill that guy and smooth it flat and then either repaint or re-vinyl this front side. Uh, but this is a quick and dirty restoration, not uh, just something to make this thing look presentable, look nice, uh, clean it up. Maybe someday I'll decide to re-vinyl this whole thing. I kind of doubt it. You know, I mean, frankly, this it isn't a classics cabinet. Cabinet to me, it's it's a it's a beautiful, a uh, lot of fun, generic cabinet. But I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to go that far with the restoration. So, but I do not also want to look at this ugly ass hole. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get a carriage bolt, and uh, I don't know where it is right now, but uh, in one of these washers here. And when we paint the brackets, we'll go ahead and paint the carriage bolt top and this washer. And when it's done, it'll it'll have a nice clean finish, um, at least on on that hole. So it'll be black. It'll be a you know a dot here on the front, but it'll it'll look nice. It won't look um, you know it won't look like that. First thing we want to do is take take the parts uh, that were already painted, like this guy, and just use a this is a, just a red red Scotch Bright pad, and you want to scuff these guys up. You want to get rid of any. Anything shiny, it's not, you know, not, not so different from what we had to do on the red tents. But uh, you want to knock down any shine that might be on these parts. And, you know, same thing with the, the top bar here. I'm going to knock down all the shine on it so that it's a nice matte finish. And then we'll lay down a coat of, a coat or two of primer. And then uh, lay down some paint. Alright, so first things first. Uh, I'm going to lay down a coat of primer before we hit it with paint. So I'm just using Rust-Oleum Fast Drying Any Angle Spray Primer. So uh, lots of light coats is the trick here for primer, trick here for paint, same thing. Um, rather than heavy, heavy, heavy dosing on this, and that's really the same technique we use in the red tent, which is you want to use nice, nice even strokes back and forth. You know, don't go for full coverage on the first stroke or the first uh, the first coat. Just nice, even. We'll do a, a few layers of light coats. And that's good for the first coat. Let that dry for about five minutes. All right, coat number two. Same thing. Keep it light. But there we go, coat number two. We'll go for probably uh, three coats. All right, it's about to do its afternoon thunderstorm here, so I'm gonna hit this last coat a little bit heavier and finish it up, and then I'm gonna have to let this dry inside and come back to it. All right, so that's primer done. We'll have to uh, come back and sand this out, but that's fine. And let this dry. All right, so the rain has passed. It's still pretty warm out here. Um, definitely above 70. Uh, I want to say it's probably close to 75 or 80. 
So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some paint on these guys. First thing I'm gonna do is just take and and, and uh, knock down, just with a again the red scotch pad here, knock down anything, any uh, slight bumps that might have come out from the primer. Give the primer uh, a little tooth, I guess maybe is that what it's called? Something like that. Main thing just to to knock it down, make sure that that it's nice and smooth. So just lightly going over it with a scotch pad. So let's go ahead and get some uh, some paint laid down on this. All right, so same deal as the primer. Start with light coats. Going the full length back and forth. All right, first coat done. All right, coat number two. All right, coat number three with a new paint. So we'll see, this is this isn't exactly the same kind, but it's also a black. Should be fine. All right, so let this one dry. Probably do um, about at least three coats of this. So we'll just check the coverage when we get there. All right, coat number two of the new paint. Probably be just one more coat of this stuff, I think. For good coverage. All right, this should be the last coat. And that's it. Nice, heavy, thick last coat. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't come out as nice as it looks like it's going to. I can always uh, sand that down, have a nice base coat of the black. Just, uh, you know, likely scuff it again and go back in and uh, do it with maybe one more coat and it should be good to go. But I think it's going to be fine as is. So we'll let this dry and get this stuff uh, in the queue of things ready to be reinstalled. We'll probably do like one reinstall the whole shebang video kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah, so... That's my simple and straightforward process for painting metal parts. Thanks for your subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.